Welcome to the news at 10. Happy Friday, everybody. Let's kick off the weekend with a check of the forecast. Chief forecaster David Tillman is here with some new information. Apparently now we've got a name storm. Yeah, this is the second name storm of the year. Man who called himself Mr. Injector on social media is going to prison for performing illegal butt injection. New at 10, an uncertified HISD teacher is accused of sex crimes against a student. ABC 13's Luke Jones is live downtown with the connection he had to the alleged victim. Tonight, we've got video of the moments Houston police officers shot a man they mistook for a burglary suspect inside an apartment building. Camacho maintains he did not open fire and no officers were hurt. Police say the investigation into everything that happened that day continues. Well, it's the debate after the debate. Should President Joe Biden exit the race after his widely panned performance? Representative Ron Reynolds from the Houston area is among the first Democrats to go on record telling ABC 13 tonight something needs to change. Reynolds says he will still vote for Biden if he is the party's choice by November and said he was encouraged by the president's performance at a rally today. Let's talk a little bit of weather. Yeah, and uh, we need to talk about the most important thing on the agenda, and that is what's happening in the tropics, mm -hmm. even though this thing is over 3,000. A second former police officer indicted over the response to the school shooting in Yavale turned himself in today. Haley here, obviously U of H has some great athletic programs, but we need somebody at the helm, huh? They do. They need a new <laughs> athletic director and the search is Very true. All right. Well, we've got a final look at your weekend forecast coming up next. Here you go. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for hanging with us, guys. Jimmy Kimmel Live coming up next. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week.